Hi, welcome back to Movie Review Mom. Today, the movie I'm reviewing is called Paradise Hills. As of today, the movie has not yet been rated, but I suspect when it hits theaters, it'll probably be rated PG-13, I think. Anyway, the movie is one hour and 35 minutes long, and the Movie Review Mom grade that I gave it is a D for dumb. And I feel horrible saying that. And Maybe this movie is just so brilliant that it went over my head and I didn't understand it. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful to look at, but um, it just wasn't as good as it thinks it is. Let me give you a quick uh, nutshell. It's kind of a sci-fi thriller slash horror, and it's Alice Waddington's directorial debut. So good for her. And she shows good promise. Um, so I'm happy for her, and I'm sure she'll do great things in the future. The film actually debuted at this year's Sundance Film Festival, and quickly afterwards, Samuel Goldwyn Films acquired the distribution rights. Unfortunately, like I said, it just, it kind of, you can tell it just thinks it's really profound and deep and awesome, and I guess... I, I don't know. I was a little bored even. And again, I feel terrible saying that. But anyway, some quick tips for parents is that there's some crude language and one F-bomb. There's some violence and you see a couple in bed, but mostly with clothes on and you kind of know stuff's going to happen, but you don't see anything. Some positive themes are there's always a way to get what you want. That's something that Amarna says. She's played by Eliza Gonzalez. And female empowerment is a very strong theme. Independence and identity are also very strong themes. So there's some interesting messages to be had, but the whole movie is just kind of bizarre. Um, but again, it's beautiful to look at. So some other things that I liked are, first of all, I'm a sucker for Mila Jov... Jo I can never say her name. Jovovich? Jojo... Jovovich. There. And I really like her, even though I can't say her name. Um, and then I've been seeing Emma Roberts all over the place. So good for her. She sings in the movie, too, just a tiny bit. And A-lister Julia Roberts must be one proud auntie because she's, you know, really kicked off a nice little movie career. The, um, the, other, the young cast also includes Danielle McDonald, Aquafina, Jeremy Irvine, and as I mentioned, Eliza Gonzalez. The fun and creative costume design is interesting. It's kind of like eye candy. It doesn't actually make sense, but it's pretty to look at. And the fantastical set designs are very intriguing and, again, very fun to look at. Um, it kind of feels like a fantasy escapism type of a world, which does tie into the storyline. But again, none of it really makes a whole lot of sense, which leads into some other things that I didn't like. The sound kind of drove me nuts. Just some things that they did in the movie, I was like, ah, it was just really grating on me. And some of the acting wasn't that good. I've seen all of those actors do so much better in other movies. So I was really disappointed. Um, and it really has everything to do with the poor script and probably some bad direction. Um, and I feel terrible saying this, but it just was such a, a letdown. The movie poster looks intriguing. And when the movie starts, you're like, oh, this is going to be different. And, and it is. But again, it's just not as great as I think it thinks it is. Some of the scenes take place in dim moonlight, so it'll be hard to see what's going on if you're watching this on a small monitor or a small device once it goes to streaming or on DVD. And uh, um, many things are just totally random, and maybe they're symbolic. And if so, I love symbolism. If they're symbolic, I don't know, they just didn't grab me or something, or I totally missed it. Everything just sort of seemed very self-indulgent and just kind of dumb. And again, I feel so badly for saying that. There isn't really any humor other than the whole movie is just kind of ridiculous. But if you like this movie, then I can recommend some other movies that I think are somewhat similar. 
For example, a simple favor. The premise is intriguing. The characters and the actors or actresses are great, um, but there's humor and it takes a fun twist. This movie also has a little bit of a twist. Well, it does. It has a twist. Um, so anyway, although the two movies are different, I think if you like one, you might like the other one. The Stepford Wives is very similar, but again, the Stepford Wives had a lot more humor. It had great actors and actresses that I loved. There was a twist, but it just was done better, I think. And then another movie that this reminded me of was Alice in Wonderland, just probably because of the fantastical nature of it all. And you feel like you've really escaped into a completely different world. Anyway, here's my little pillow. I hope if you see this movie that you enjoy it. And if you did it, you can't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> and if you did enjoy it, be sure and Write your comments down below. I want to find out what I missed and why I didn't like it. Um, anyway, be sure and go to moviereviewmom.com and you can see some of the lines that I write down and some other things about my review that I write down in my written review. And be sure and ring that little bell and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Anyway, I hope that you'll visit me back and you'll trust me. My job is to try to help you find the best movies for you and your family. So I'm trying to give you the heads up on what movies are all about so you can make the best choice because movies are expensive and you don't want to waste your time on something that's just a waste of time. Anyway, thank you again for subscribing. Bye for now.